All right, so that's all for today. Um, short, sweet, starting to get your brain going, building some new pathways in there um, as we start to explore options, which is really cool. Uh, Chuji's back there, as you can see. He's, uh, if he were here, he'd be wishing you good luck on tomorrow's midterm. Um, a couple of announcements. So there is a practice midterm that we've posted on the website that has questions that are very, very, very similar to the ones that you will encounter on tomorrow's midterm. Tomorrow's midterm will take place during lab time. Um, unless there are severe technical issues, we do want you to take it tomorrow during lab. And we're not going to be as accommodating to people that need to to decide that they're not going to show up and are going to take it Wednesday or Thursday, there'll be a there'll be a penalty associated with that. Unless again everything goes up in smoke again, which is possible. Um, anyway, so you know the practice exam that we posted um, doesn't have multiple choice questions. It has two questions that are very similar to the trickier two programming questions that are on the actual exam. The reason that this is up there is for two reasons. One is obviously to allow you to practice, uh, which you should do. Um, and the other reason is to work on any sort of lingering technical issues with the quiz platform itself. So if there's something weird going on, like scroll bars are flickering, I think I fixed that, um, or something else is strange that's happening that is preventing you from you know, being able to focus and do your best on the assessment, uh, please let us know and, and work on it. Um, okay, so you know, one thing I want to remind you, this is always a tough moment in the class. I know people are stressed out. Uh, we've been pushing you. Uh, trying to push past your boundaries a little bit on the last couple homework problems. A um, couple things to keep in mind. First of all, the point of really everything we do in this class is to get you to practice. That's it. That's the only thing that works. That's the only way to learn this material is to just do the work. And if I, there was a magic potion that I could give you that would cause you to just wake up tomorrow knowing how to program and knowing all about computer science, I would use it, but I don't have that. Instead, I just have to work. And on some level, you know, uh, when I hear people saying, oh, the homework problem took me two hours, well, I think, okay, you are two hours closer to achieving your goals in computer science. Someone else who did it in 10 minutes, you know what? They're not really any closer because they're not being challenged. They can do the problem that quickly. They probably know all those things already. And so they're just, you know, they're not really challenging themselves. They're not growing. Um, those of you that are putting in the time, it will pay off. Trust me. Like I said, this is the only way that you learn this stuff. It's just putting in the hours, putting in the work. And everything that we do in this class is designed to encourage you to do that. Um, same thing with the assessments. You know, Some of you are going to do great on Tuesday. Some of you are going to wish that you did better. At the end of the day, what really matters is what you do today when you practice. What you did yesterday, what you did the day before, what you did for the past couple weeks. You can't fake this stuff, right? It's sort of like playing an instrument, sort of like running, you know, you know, if you don't run for three weeks, you're not going to win a marathon, right? If you don't play the instrument for consistently every day, when you show up to the lesson, your teacher is going to send you home. That happened to me once. Um, you know, if you don't do the reading, you're not going to be able to answer questions about the book. Um, so, you know, the work you've been putting in is going to help. But, you know, some of you are still going to not do as well as you wanted because you're going to forget something stupid or something like that. And in that, in that place, in that moment, I just want you to remember that you did the work and you are that much better. And in the real world, nobody is going to sit you down in front of a computer for 50 minutes and force you to do a problem like this without access to the Internet and without coffee, and without help from other people and stuff like that. It's just a completely artificial situation. The reason we do it is to get you to put in the work that you've already done. So good luck on tomorrow's quiz. I suspect you do very well. I hope that you do. I wish you the best of luck. Um, I hope that you know uh, you are able to really show your true potential and 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 put in and sort of that your quiz score reflects all the work that you put in. Um, and if you don't think it does, just keep in mind that that work is still there and it's and it's going to be there and it's going to be something for you to build on as we continue forward. Um, and that I really want all of you guys here in December. Um, in no way is this course designed to try to drive anybody away. I hope, it's not a, I hope that's not happening. If it is, I'm really sorry. Please come talk to me. You know, it's not our goal. Uh, we do push you. We do want to challenge you. Uh, but we want you to stick around. So please, you know, feel the love and the support from the course staff um, as you prepare for tomorrow's uh, midterm. And best of luck.